reach beyond the darkness, beyond the grave, to an unexplored dimension as we travel to the mysterious realm of ghosts. Journey with us into the world of ghost stories. Antiques seem to hold a fascination for most of us. Locked within each piece is a glimpse of a lifetime gone by. In our next story, we find that spirits have a fascination with the remnants of the past as well. Let's watch as the new owners of some priceless pieces find they brought home more than they bargained for. Gothic backdrops and medieval castles. Perfect settings to expect roaming spirits and eerie visions. So nothing prepared us for the ghostly tales surrounding this ordinary family house in the middle of the desert, the house of Rusty and Bill Oster. Shortly before Rusty and Bill got married, Bill encountered a vision which would remain with him for years after. He was laying on the couch one evening and was wide awake, and all of a sudden this woman in a bride's gown appeared in the hallway, standing there with the veil and the whole bit. Three weeks later, this lady that's um, kind of like a mom to me, she picked out my dress. We brought it home, and when he seen the dress, he just freaked because the dress was identical, I guess, to what the, the bride was wearing. the same wearing. as what I've seen. It made such an impression on them that today the dress has a special place in their bedroom. But this was just the beginning of many bizarre happenings surrounding the family. And we used to have a jukebox that would go on and off, and it's like, Every night at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, it would slide all the way over and play Elvira. So whoever it was loved the song Elvira. And then we, we explained it, oh, it's probably power surges or something like that. But uh, same time, same time every night, about 1, 1 30 in the morning, the jukebox would go off. Oddly, these incidents didn't happen in the same time frame. More so, they didn't even happen in the same house. All of a sudden, this picture right here, nobody was near the organ or anything come flying over this way right at him. It was like somebody just took it and heaved it at him. And he ducked and he's, you know, grabbing his hands going, whoa, whoa, and he broke the fall and it didn't break. But it hit the carpet and uh, he turned around and he looked at me and he goes, did you see that? And I said, oh yeah, I saw it. And I started laughing, right? So a little while later he goes on out there after he finished the table and we set the picture back up. And uh, all of a sudden I'm standing there and all of a sudden you hear this woman's voice and you hear, ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. And it was coming from the, the vent up there. Somehow it didn't matter where the Osters moved to. These strange happenings would follow them. This was not your ordinary haunting. In contrast to the simple exterior, the Osters living room transports you to a graveyard of fabulous antiques. A piano owned and played by Liberace. Candelabras used in the very early films at Paramount. You see, the Osters are avid collectors of anything with a history. This is the actual heart of the house right here. A lot of people have come into this room, and they said the room itself has a real weird air about it. Shopping for antiques, the Osters have learned that sometimes they bring home more than just the ancient object, a few times even causing some hair-raising moments. And I've always been intrigued with, with skulls, you know. Um, Back in my era, that was a big thing, Halloween parties and all of this stuff. One day at a yard sale, Rusty bought a skull, which was used as a candle holder. I didn't look at it that close. It was just a small one. From the time I brought it in the door, we had power surges. We had really weird stuff happening. We had bad luck. Five cars in one day went down, and I lit this thing on the organ, you know, and my mother-in-law walked in, and she just froze dead in her track. She says, did you really look at that thing? And I said, no, why? Turned out it was a human skull with ram's horns. I took the thing out in the middle of the street and busted it in a million pieces. And the minute I did it, everything just, I mean, our power come back on. It was all, I got goosebumps. It was all, you know, a part of this whole deal. Another object attracted Rusty's attention. It's just a, a whiskey flask and it was a, an antique. Well, it was nice and clean inside and it had been, they had put a new liner in it and the whole bit. Well, I brought it home and you could put water in it shake it around and pour it out and you'd get water. Same thing with anything else, Kool-Aid, Coke or whatever. I'd put whiskey in it, Jack Daniels. 
and shake it up and hold it for a few minutes. You could pour it out and it would come out white powdery milk. That's another thing I got rid of real fast. So that's why I believe a lot of the, some of the objects you get a hold of sometimes can either be good or bad. And it just seemed like those two certain pieces, the longer I held on to them, the worse luck I had. These days, a mysterious house guest is wandering around the Oster's home. With the laugh, we figured, well, it's obviously female, and she's not real crazy about him, so. <laughs> <laughs> Even their dog senses her presence. She'll be laying there, and she'll be watching somebody or something. She'll turn around and just she'll stop She'll turn around and, and just stare. stop and look at them and, then, and watch. And it's like she's watching somebody walk. And you don't see nothing there. There's nothing there. Or she'll cock her head and look at it, and it's like, you know they're looking at something. Like something's there that we can't see it. And I really think that there, there are spirits and stuff out there that maybe missed their call or whatever and working to get there. Which of the many antique pieces the vanishing lady refuses to let go of remains a secret? I don't think it's evil or nothing like that. Just, I don't know, like the picture coming down, it was, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I mean, it got my attention. Where other people might be scared out of their wits, the Osters take it all in their stride. I think, you know, for some of the things that we've been through and things that have happened, I mean, there's something watching over us, you know, and it's, it's here. Is it Satan's presence throughout the hotel that the Tommyknockers are trying to warn us about? 